welcome to the viewers for the lecture series in strength of materials uh, this is the fifth lecture in strength of materials already we had lecture number 131 to 134 in which we have discussed the different types of beams different types of loadings how to find out shear force and draw the shear force diagram bending moment and drawing the bending moment diagram all these things elaborately now uh, this lecture is aimed to simplify the problem the problem has been broken into number of pieces so uh, i wanted to just make the problem solving simple so we are going to summarize what you have discussed in lecture number 131 to 134 uh, and we are going to discuss the different concepts in terms of simple steps that is why uh, this is lecture number 135 135 the topic is many moments diagram and shear force diagram in easy steps so whatever we have discussed in the last four lectures 131 to 134 we will cover everything in a short period very short period we will cover all the and once if you become uh, uh, conversant with these calculations you can read any book any problem you can understand that is the aim of this lecture uh, here we cover all types of beams all types of loads the determination of reactions shear force bending moment and uh, the variation of bending moment for different types of loads the variation of shear force for different types of loads and also drawing the bending moment diagram shear force diagram and also finding out the shear force at a section and the bending moment at a section everything is covered in a very short period that is the objective of this lecture that is why bending moment diagram and the shear force diagram easy steps right <laughs> Now, uh, in this problem, we will concentrate only on finding out the reactions. Finding out the reaction is very important for all problems. In some problems, we will just give the reactions and uh, solve the problem. Right. Now, here this is the loading. This is the, this is the loading, a simply supported beam, uh, AB, AB of of 7 meter span subjected to UDL and the point load. All these calculations are already discussed elaborately. Therefore, I will not spend much time on these things. Right? So, for to find out the support reactions RA and RB, to find RA, take moment about B. We know it is RA into 7 minus 80 into 2. We are taking moment about B, 80 into 2 minus 50 into 3. 50 into 3, 50 kilo newton per meter into 3 meters length. The total load 50 into 3 will be acting at its center. Center means 1.5 meters from A or 5.5 meters from B. That is what is shown here. Uh, therefore, that is the viewers can understand. Uh, therefore, uh, we can find out the value of Ra. Ra equal to 140.71 kilo newton. And RB equal to uh, this, uh, uh, for these calculations, one more diagram is given. How it is 3 by 2 plus 4, the viewers can understand, right. As I said, it is only a repetition of what you have done earlier. So, RB equal to total load minus RA. Total load is 50 into 3 minus R uh, plus, there is 80 kilo newton load uh, minus RA. Minus RA equal to 89.29 kilo newton. That's about finding out RA and RB for one beam. Next beam is again a simply supported beam. We have to, here again we have to find out only the values of RA and RB. Uh, it consists of a triangular load varying from 0 to 40 for a length of 6 meters, over a length of uh, 6 meters plus there is a clockwise moment of six, uh, 60 kilo newton meter. So the units for the forces and moments they have to become familiar, right? Now, to find out the value of Ra, we know Ra into 12 meters, total span is 12 meters, minus half, half into 6 into 40 is the total load. Total load is half into base into height. We are taking a moment about B. So, from B, this is 6 meters, 
plus from here it will be acting the total load will be acting at one third of uh, 6 meters so 6 plus one third of 6 one third of 6 uh, plus 60 there is a clockwise moment so ra into 12 is clockwise this moment is also clockwise so plus see, that itself is a moment therefore uh, plus 60 equal to 0 that will give you the value of ra which is 75 rb equal to a total load minus ra total load here consists of only half into 6 into 40 this is a moment this need not be counted uh, in calculating a uh, say rb from ra therefore the total load is only half into 60 into 40 half into 60 into 40 minus ra equal to 45 right now uh, in the same problem the same problem figure number three what is the shear force at the section x so if this problem is given if some section is given what is the shear force at the section shear force at the section equal to considering all the forces to the right of the section or all the forces to the left of the section it is the algebraic sum of the vertical forces so therefore to considering the uh, portion to the left of the section the vertical reaction ra minus the load in this the load in this will be half into x into this ordinate this ordinate equal to for 6 meters it is 40 what is the value for x meters now now you can understand the figure yes x, x meters for 6 meters it is 40 x meters what is the value right so we want the algebraic sum of the vertical forces namely ra is 75 minus the load up to the section xx half into 6 into 40 x by 6 so that is equal to 75 minus uh, 3.333 x square so this is a second degree variation so when you want to find out the uh, shear force at a you have to substitute x equal to 0 when you want to substitute uh, when you want to find out the uh, shear force at uh, the midpoint you have to substitute x equal to 6 meter that is already known and next uh, next uh, simple problem you will take a cantilever beam subjected to uh, point loads udl and one more point load the question is what is the value of ra what is the shear force at the section d at the section d ra this is the only support therefore whatever is the load the total load will be acting I mean, will be supported by the support a therefore ra will be equal to total i mean total load ra equal to total because the total load will be transmitted only the support there is only one support therefore there is only one support hence only the support a will be offering the required total reaction so that is equal to 60 plus 20 into 2 plus 40 equal to 140 140 kilonewton is the value of ra that is first question ra second shear force at d at the section d we have to find out the algebraic sum of the vertical forces to the right or to the left so considering the portion to the right of d there is only 140 kilonewton load therefore the shear force at d equal to 40 kilonewton only we know left up right down is positive the force is right down therefore it is positive right uh, coming to the next problem next problem uh, is uh, you have to find out the value uh, you have to give the equations for m x1 x1 and f x2 x2 substitution other things are you are aware the viewers are aware therefore there is section x1 x1 at this point what is the value of m x1 x1 then this is section x2 x2 what is the shear force at the section x2 x2 right m x1 x1 equal to equal to that is considering all the forces to the left of the section or considering all the forces to the right of the section you have to take moment of the forces uh, considering the right hand side is simple uh, because uh, there is only one triangular load right now the bending moment at the section xx equal to the total load to the right of x1 x1 into the distance to the center of gravity of the load from x1 x1 we know the total load here is, is load is 
half into x into x into this ordinate will be equal to for 3 meters it is 60 for x meters what is the value for 3 it is 60 what is the value for x meters that is equal to 20 into x therefore uh, the total load is half into x into 20x into that will be acting at one third from x1 x1 one third of x one third of x and uh, this is a cantilever subjected to hogging moment therefore it is minus therefore this is the value and simplifying we will be getting minus 20 by 6 into x cube so we know that uh, between b and c the variation of bending moment will be cubic so it will be a cubic curve right now coming to f x2 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 here we have to consider all the forces to the right of the section or to the left of the section now we want the equation the equation that is considering the forces to the right it is half into 3 into 60 half into 3 into 60 right? half into 3 into 60. that is the only force to the right of the section that is the only force half into 3 into 60 equal to 90 kilometer uh, because, because it is right down it is positive as far as shear force is concerned because it is right down therefore it is positive or also we can find out the value of x1 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 considering the force to the left of the section on the left of the section we have got only reaction ra ra equal to 60 left up is positive so both are giving the same value. Half into 3 into uh, 60 equal to 90. We know Ra is also 90. Ra, Ra we are not calculated here. Ra we are not calculated. And Ra will also be 90. That is half into 3 into 60 will be 90. That will be the value of Ra. So that is the, the next problem. Next we will take another simple problem. Uh, that is a simply supported beam is subjected to a moment of 120 kilonewton meter at 4 meters from the left hand support. The question is find out the uh, reactions, find out the reactions and sketch the shear force diagram. Here taking moment about B, about B, Ra into 12, Ra into 10 meters, Ra into 10 plus there is a moment already that itself is a moment 120 plus 120 that's all. 120 Ra into 10 is a moment due to Ra plus 120 equal to 0. That will give you Ra equal to minus 12 kilometer. That means the reaction Ra is downwards. We have assumed this to be upwards, but you are getting with a negative sign. Therefore, Ra is downwards. Right. Ra equal 12 kilonewton downwards. There is no vertical load. Therefore, Ra plus Rb equal to 0. No vertical force. Therefore, Rb equal to minus Ra. Rb equal to Rb have assumed in the upward direction. Rb equal to minus of because we know Rb equal to minus of Ra. Minus of Ra is minus 12. Therefore, minus or minus plus 12. Therefore, the reaction here is uh, 12 down and here it is 12 up. Therefore, the shear force diagram will be Shear force diagram will be uh, here. Uh, this is the baseline. This is the baseline. Here, this is Ra down. Then no load horizontal. Then upward Rb. So that is the shear force diagram. Shear force diagram. Right. Now next problem. All problems will be uh, simple only. Next problem is that of the same simply supported. Beam. First we have discussed here a simply supported beam. We have got. Ra equal to 140.71 Rb. Now here it is given. Normally it will not be given in the problem. Now for convenience to facilitate doing one more problem without wasting time, uh, I am just uh, giving you the value of Ra 140.71 Rb equal to 89.29. Right. Now this is the problem that you are considering. Uh, yes, Ra 140.71 Rb is uh, so these two values are given. Which, which you are supposed to find out, right? Sketch the shear force diagram, that's all. Shear force diagram. We know the shear force diagram, now here Ra, this is the horizontal line from which you have first draw the horizontal line, 
from here R A is 140.71. Now and here you will have a linear variation because of UDL. UDL the diagram will be linear. We know uh, the download load is 50 into 3, 150 kilonewton. 50 into 3, 150. Therefore, this is 140.71. We'll have linear variation. This will come down by some value. This value equal to 150 minus 140.71. Therefore, it is minus 9.29. And from here to here, there is no load. Therefore, it will be a straight line, horizontal straight line. And here at this point, there is a load 80 kilonewton. Therefore, here it is 80. Already there is 9.29. Therefore, total is 89.29. And uh, from here to here, there is no loading. Therefore, it will be horizontal. And here we will be at this point. Now we have to sub plot the value of RB. RB equal to 89.29 upwards that will end in the horizontal line. That is how we have to uh, draw the diagram plus and minus. This is the shear force diagram. Right. Next. Sketch the bending moment diagram qualitatively for the beam loaded as shown in figure. Uh, some places, some interviews, etc. will be asked to draw the diagram qualitatively. You need not bother about the value. Just qualitatively will have to sketch the shape of the diagram. Uh, but here, however, I have given the values also not necessary. Actually, it is a cantilever. You have to draw the shear force diagram. Sorry, bending moment diagram. Bending moment diagram here will have second degree variation. Second degree variation. And from here to here, you will have linear variation. And here to here, you have linear variation. So it is enough if you draw this parabola from here to here one straight line and from this load to this actually it is not clear in the diagram but to show two, two different slopes up to this point one slope beyond this you will have another slope because of this loading there will be a change in the slope that is not shown clearly therefore you have to draw two straight lines from here to this point load one slope from here to here one slope and a sec second degree curve. Uh, values also given, this is not necessary, uh, this uh, the viewers can understand, mx equal to minus wl by 2 uh, for this mx, mx, uh, therefore linear variation, this and also this, this will be the value, this viewers can check it, check the calculation and that, that is not necessary for the given problem that is not necessary, right. that you can always check. And sketch the bending moment diagram for the beam loaded as shown in the figure. For this beam, already we have got the reactions and drawn the shear force diagram. Now, for the same beam, of course it is a different beam, uh, we have to draw the bending moment diagram. Right. So, anti clockwise moment 150. So, we know to find out the value of Rea, Rea into 6 minus this itself is a moment minus 150 equal to 0 or a into 6 or a into 6 minus 150 equal to 0 therefore or a oh, it is given even otherwise or a into 6 minus 150 will give you or a equal to 25 25 25 here it is given you can always find out right uh, 25 up 25 down here down here to make sigma v equal to 0 right now here mx equal to, when you want to find out the bending moment, the section xx, here it is Ra into x. That is Ra is 25, 25 into x. x equal to 0, ma equal to 0. x equal to 2 meters, it is 50. This is just to the left of C. Because at C, you have got a moment. So just to the left of C, it is uh, plus 50. Right. Now, Cb, that is in this section, beyond C, that is the portion CB, Mx equal to, again, Ra into X, minus, there is a moment, there is a moment minus 150, anti-clockwise 150. So, and this is again linear, again linear. Now, here when you substitute X equal to 2 meters, you get the value minus 100. When you substitute X equal to 6 meters, it is 0. So, all are linear variations. Therefore, the bending moment diagram will be 0 plus 50 
Here, because of the moment, it is minus 100 and 0. All these values are calculated. We have got 0 plus 50 uh, uh, minus 100, 0. For all these things, there are calculations and also we know that the variation will be linear. Right. Now, coming to the next problem, sketch the bending moment diagram. Bending moment diagram. Uh, this is, uh, yes, an overhanging beam. Overhanging beam. RA value is given, RB value is given. We know how to calculate the value of RA, RB. Now, here we are concentrating only on bending moment diagram. Right. Now, uh, this is 30 kilo per meter. Now, coming to bending moment diagram, we know it is RA into 3. RA into 3 is 0.83 into 3. And here, the bending moment diagram will have a linear variation. Because we know when you take section XX, it is RA into X. That we know. That we know. Now here, this will be having cubic variation, cubic variation. And here we will have, in the overhanging part, we will have linear variation. It is negative when you move a These values already we have elaborately discussed, right. MA equal to 0, MD equal to RA into 3, 2.49, linear, MX equal to, MX equal to RA into, considering a section X, at a distance x meters from d, or a into or a into 3 plus x, or a into 3 plus x minus that uniformly varying load, half into x into, this ordinate will be for 3 meters, this is 30, for x meters what is the value, that is shown here, for 3 meters it is 30, for x meters what is the value. So, this is the area of the triangle which is the total load in the portion x into one third of x that will be acting at one third from the section xx the center of gravity of the load so this equation on simplification gives a cubic equation we know it is cubic right when x equal to zero this equation substitute x equal to zero substitute x equal to three meters you will get a 2.49 and minus 40.02 therefore here it is 2.49 as you have calculated here 2.49 and here it is minus 40. Minus 40 we know that in the case of overhanging beam the bending moment will change sign. There will be a point of contraflexure. So between D and B you will have a point of contraflexure that we have to find out. right Now here this is the bending moment diagram. 0 to this is linear up to this point. From here, you will have cubic variation. It changes from positive to negative. Here it is minus 40. Minus 40. For the overhanging part, it is uh, 40 into 1. 40 into 1 equal to 40 minus because it is overhanging. This is hugging bending moment. So minus 1 into 40. This is the linear variation. So that is about the bending moment diagram for this way. Next problem. Sketch the shear force diagram. All concentrated loads. Beam overhanging on both sides. RA is given. RB is also given. So these values actually I have calculated and given. One, not 4.29. Uh, the viewers can always check it. 75.7. These are meaningful values, calculated values. Right. Now how to plot the shear force diagram? Here it is 40. 40 down. So first uh, draw the horizontal line, draw the horizontal line, from the horizontal line downward 40, left down is negative, left down is as far as the shear force is concerned, right, 40, then horizontal line, no load between uh, C and A, now RA, RA is 104.29, so already this is 40 plus 64.8, so the total value will be 104.29, 40 plus 64, namely 104.29 upwards. And here, from A to D, there is no, no load. Therefore, it is horizontal. 60 down. This is 64.29. So, this is 60 down. Therefore, this will be 4.29. And from D to E, there is no load. Therefore, this will be horizontal. Then, again, 50 down. This is 4.29. Therefore, 4.29 plus 45.7 around equal to 50. 
therefore it is minus 45.71 from e to b there is no load and here there is rb rb equal to 75.71 this is 45.71 so 45.71 up plus 30 we are here at this point then there is no load between b and f horizontal and again there is a point load 30 down that is that completes the shear force for the given beam and the loading This is a shear force diagram. Uh, these calculations are shown so the viewers can stop and uh, verify these calculations if necessary. Right. Next, uh, the shear force diagram. And, uh, next is uh, calculating because for a yeah, beam subjected to moments, subjected to one moment, we have drawn the shear force diagram. This consists of two moments one clockwise moment, one anti clockwise moment. How to draw the shear force diagram? Right. For shear force diagram, we want the values of R A and R B. Right. Taking moments about B, it is R A into six. There is a moment. Already it is a moment plus hundred minus one ninety because this is minus. So the distance of point of application of moment, whether it is a two meters, whether it is a three meters, the difference will be only in the bending moment diagram. So here. Uh, the distance need not be bothered. Only in the drawing of the already we have drawn one bending moment diagram for this. So there we will be accounting these distances because the viewers will have some doubt when we are not considering this uh, distance. Suppose the load is uh, at one meter from the left hand support or at three meters from the left hand support. What will be the difference? That will be appearing only in the bending moment diagram because this doubt will be there. Genuine doubt. Right? R A into 6 plus 100 minus 190 equal to 0. That will give RA. RA equal to 15 up. When RA is 15 up, when there is no vertical loading, we know that RB is 15 down. RB is RA, RA plus RB equal to 0. RB equal to minus RA. Therefore, RB equal to minus 15 uh, kilonewton downwards. Therefore, uh, the, this is about the reactions. So, we have to start from the horizontal line. This is the horizontal line from which we have to start the shear force diagram. RA up, then no load horizontal, RB down, that completes the shear force diagram. Left up, right down is positive. Left up, right down is positive. Uh, before closing, one more point actually, uh, the shear force diagram that we already discussed is minus. The reason is here R A is down, left down is negative, right up is negative, left up, here left down is negative, right up is negative, only left up, right down is positive, right. Therefore, you have to note down the sign of the shear force diagram. So, here it is plus, in this problem it is plus, it is plus, because R A is upwards, right. Now, uh, this problem is only for practice. Uh, same problem we have done earlier 100 kN, 190 kN. This problem RA and RB we have calculated just now. Just now we have calculated. Uh, this is the problem. RA and RB we have calculated in this problem. We have drawn the shear force diagram. How to draw the bending moment diagram? I have just given only the clue x1, x1, x2, x2, x3, x3. I have given the equation for x1, x1 which is RA in X, second one is RA in X plus 100, third one is uh, either you can write uh, here, you can write RA, RA into X uh, plus 100 minus 190, there you can substitute X equal to 4 meters and X equal to 6 meters or considering the forces right of the section, it is RB into X meters. Consider X from the right. RB is down. So, left clockwise is positive. Right anti-clockwise is positive. Now, here it is right clockwise. Because this is down. So, right clockwise, therefore, it is negative. 
right clockwise is negative therefore uh, here it is minus rb in x substitute x equal to 0 meters x equal to 2 meters the substitute different values of x will be getting the bending moment diagram so this is uh, left for the viewers practice so uh, thereby we have completed different types of beams single overhanging double overhanging cantilever are subjected to different types of loads point load uniformly distributed load uniformly varying load uh, and also moment one moment two couples etc uh, this gives an overall picture about whatever we have discussed in the four, four, last four lectures i believe that the viewers will be definitely uh, benefited because of uh, this lecture uh, thank you thank you for your patience thank you